Hello and welcome back to this channel. So today's tutorial is going to be all about mockups in Photoshop. So this image you see right here, do you think I actually have three rolls of fabric with this design on it? Actually not. This is actually a mockup and I've just put my design on top of it. So we're just going to learn how to do this so that you can showcase your artwork in a very nice way. You can use the mockups to probably show your designs to your clients or even put up on your social media platforms to tell people what products it might look good on. So let's just get started. The mockup files that we're going to talk about here are Photoshop files. And there are a lot of options out there to get some really good mockups. You can get a lot of them for free actually, but you cannot really use them for commercial work. One source is goodmockups.com. Here you can search for any kind of mockup that you want, like for a t-shirt or any other thing that you want. Let me just go ahead and do something like logo mockup. And obviously there are many designs to choose from and I think this one looks good. So I'll just click on that. The ads on this page, I usually use an ad blocker, but this is on the incognito mode and I don't have ad blocker on the incognito mode enabled. So you can see the ads, but you do your thing. And then you come on and click on download logo mockup. So this link is being prepared. Obviously there are random things here. Please don't click on that. Uh, be a bit careful when it comes to the sites because it has a lot of random things in here. So we have our download ready. So this is a raw file. Another awesome place to get your uh, Mockups is free pick and as you can see this is not as shady as this site but I should say that it does have some nice options but be careful when you're on this website do not click on random things uh, that is really important and then on this one again you have lots of resources they also have premium content but we're going to be using the free ones here and uh, let's see how to go ahead with it so you can just look for mockups here and if you have an idea of what you want for example you can say something like this and uh, it can actually give you a lot of ideas here. So I have downloaded some of these. So let's go through some of them and try to figure out how to work with these mockups. For this tutorial, you need Photoshop installed because all these files are PSD, that is Photoshop files. Okay, so this is how our folder will look like. So it could be either zip file or it could be a RAR file. So if you're using a Windows system, it's easy. You can either have a 7-zip or any software that can unzip these files. But if you're on a Mac, uh, you can have a software called as the Unarchiver. It looks something like this, just download it and you can use it to open, extract any files. So once you have this installed, all you have to do is either double click on this or sometimes you might have to right click and say open with or you know unzip with and then choose the right program. So first of all, let's start with the wood engraving thing because I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to unzip it. It's going to extract all these files and then give me a PSD file. So let's just open that. Okay, the first page that you see here is obviously it says created by design polls. I wanted to show you this page because we should be thankful that there are people sharing free things. Thank you for creating this one. So to uncheck that one, you just have to go here into layers. If you cannot see layers, you can always find it under window and then layers. So this is the designbones.com. So if you click on this eye here, it goes away and you can see the actual design here. So let's just um, arrange this a little bit so that you guys can see this in a much better way. So there's something very obvious here which says place logo and uh, we can easily place our logo here. So to do that, do not click on this name here. You just have to click on this smart object. So double click that and it opens up into a new Photoshop file. Click on this new layer and it creates a new layer. I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want that. So I'm going to write my own text here. You can also bring in your images. I'll show you how to do that in the next mockup. So let's click on text and say, hold your option key down or alt key down, click and drag to make it a little bigger. So you don't have to hold shift here. I'm not sure if this is some setting I have set up. So if it's not moving uniformly, make sure you hold your shift and your alt and make sure you increase this. But I don't want this big. I'm just going to reduce this a little bit because I'm going to put two uh, lines on the top. So let me just reduce that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and click on the rectangle here. If you cannot see it, right click and you can choose the rectangle tool. Click and drag and make a rectangle. So once you do this, this pops up and you can always click on this and select whatever color you want. But for this, we need everything in black and white. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Let me just go back. You can just go back to your selection tool and click on that and double click and it selects everything. So the font that I've used here is called phosphate. And then over here, if you click on this, you can actually select any color that you want, but 
for this one we need it in black because only then it looks good okay so let's then go back this one i'm just going to drop it a little below hold your option or alt key down click and drag a little bit up and place it here let's click on both of them by holding your shift key down if you cannot click it because it's too tiny go ahead and click it like this and both of them are selected i'm just going to zoom back in and hold your option or alt key down click and drag it down here as well and once you're done with this you can press command or control s so save it or you can also do file and uh, save i've already saved it so okay once you do this you can just click on this file again and there you go that looks pretty awesome doesn't it as if you have really carved that wood over there if you don't feel this is right you can still go ahead and make changes you can double click on this or since this is already open i'm just going to go back and then you can make more changes as well i'm just going to close that you see something called as fx and if you uncheck it it's obviously like this when you do it like that now you can click on this i button to see how they've created that carved wood effect so if this is something that you're interested in doing like creating mockups that's actually pretty cool unfortunately i have no experience creating mockups so i'm not going to go into that topic at all today all right now it's time to look at the next mockup that we have next up is one thing which i absolutely love that is the letterpress the letterpress effect looks so good when you're using it for say logos and business cards and things like that i will leave link to all these things that i've used in the description box you can go ahead and pick it up from there so i'm just going to unzip this and let's go ahead and open this this again is from uh, good mockups so i'm just going to uncheck that so as you can see there's already a thing called place logo design you can just double click on that and here you can see two files so this is a colored one and this one is normal black and white i guess so i'm just going to create a new file here and i uncheck this because i don't want all the drama going on mine is going to be a very simple one so now we'll look at how we can bring in images okay so i have this really basic image that i have which i created in illustrator obviously it should be a vector then it's going to look good so all you can do is you can click and drag and drop it here or you can also go to file and then place embedded but we're going to do just this now hold your option key click and drag and make it as big as you want so let's just click outside so that this gets placed or you can also click on this tick button right here and then command or control s to save this and now let's go look at it this looks awesome doesn't it i think a lot of designers use this letterpress to showcase their logo designs because it just makes the logo pop all right so let's look at these things a bit here so under this place logo design there's something called as fx let's see turning this off okay there's some fx which is giving this depth which is going to be missing and there's also something more here if i uncheck this okay we don't want to mess with this if you don't want the texture you can uncheck this and it becomes like this which is not good the card color so obviously the card has a color here you can do that and you can also double click and change it to any color you want that's cool isn't it if you want it plain white or something you can do that as well and then in texture again there's some gradients which you can remove shadows so this is the shadow that you have for here and this is texture for the background oh this was unchecked but i think i like a little bit of texture in the background and also the background color so there are two things one you can have this texture or you can uncheck this and have this background color and now if you want to export these things once you're done you always go to file and export and export as and click on a png or jpeg whichever fits your project so that was letterpress so let's go to the next one now so for the next one let's pick this poster artwork because there's a little bit of different things that we want to do so let's just unzip it it created a folder that's okay let's go check in the folder there's this psd here and there's some license text which you have to check if you're using it commercially okay all right so first of all here it says double click to change very simple so let's just double click and now it says remove our logo so just uncheck this and now if you want a background you can keep it otherwise you can do this as well which i'm going to do because i don't want a background but if you want you can add backgrounds as well you just have to click on a layer like this or you can go to layer new fill layer solid color and then you can click okay and then you can choose whatever color you want here or you can give the hex code here so you can add your own layers here like if you want it to be text and uh, now you can add and then uh, we can make it a little smaller and then place it in the center and command s to save and if you go here it'll be on that but it doesn't look real right now because you know we have to make a little bit of adjustments i'll show you how to make these adjustments by the way if you want to get rid of these lines here you can just go to view 
and then click on extras and it'll just go away just like that so like i said it's too bright here and this is not how you want but i think i'm going to pick up an image because that's what was my intention initially so click on this new layer and let's bring in an image let's do the file place embedded and i'm going to bring in something that i did earlier click on this and say place so it's going to place it here and i will just click hold my option and extend it a little bit so that it looks like this if you lose the cursor and you want to edit it much later press command or control t and you get all these things and click hold your option and drag and make it something like this i'm going to click outside so that it sets in control s and then you have it here okay it looks really bright and doesn't really fit in so we're going to try and edit it a little bit let's go back and you have to make sure you are on the layer which has the artwork and then you can find it adjustments you can go to window and then adjustments and i'm going to click on this curve and let's try to make it a little dull because uh, a little dull is much nicer and maybe make this a little bit up as well and now let's click on save let's go back Yes, now it looks much better. It actually matches. It looks like there's a lot of bright light on it. Therefore, it's dulling it down a little bit. And this is how you edit the mockups if you have to make sure that it fits in and looks good. All right, so let's go to the next one now. The next one is going to be a little tricky. It is actually a folded t-shirt mockup that I found and which is uh, pretty neat actually. Uh, let me just go into that. Let's open it up. I'm going to close all of the files because my PC is acting up. Okay, so this is your t-shirt. But when you look at this, you don't know where to edit all these things because there's so many things here and uh, obviously you don't know where to edit what. So let's just click here and it shows different options. So as you can see, there are four places here. One, two, three, and four. So, but you have your overlays, which we'll see if you want to use it or not. Craft tag isolated, I think it's this one folded t-shirt this one craft tag isolated one oh there are two of them so maybe this one and then background so let's go ahead and first do the folded t-shirt because that's our main thing so as you can see there are these red things which means that this is your file that you need to edit but we need to know what they are so i'm just going to uncheck this oh this is the main one this i have no idea what this is can you guys see something? I cannot. Okay, let's check what is that. This is the color of the t-shirt. So as you can see, when I uncheck this, the inside of the t-shirt didn't change because we have a separate section for that. That is inside t-shirt design, which will change a little later. So let's just click on this design here, double click. So now I'm going to click and create a new one. And let me go ahead and write something in here. Click, let's say, and let's try to make it center. Okay, that's center already. And I want this part to be yellow. So I can click on this and probably drag it somewhere wherever I want. And for murder, I don't want it pure black. Let's make it a little grayish. Okay, that looks fine. And now let's go ahead and make it a little bigger because I don't know how big the t-shirt is supposed to be. So, and say command or control S to save the file. Let's go back here and you can see this does not look good because this has moved so much up. So we have to adjust this. So I'll just go back, change the bloody color, make it a little darker and then go back to your selection tool. Hold your option, click and drag it to make it a little smaller. Let's bring it a little bit down and command S apply save let's go ahead and look oh okay that looks fine i want this to be on a separate sheet so i'm just going to cut this out click on text paste it go ahead but let's change the size okay i'm done that looks good and this is exactly how we want so i'm just going to close that okay so now how do we find the other things so let's just go ahead um i don't know why this is open let's unopen that if you want to change the color you just have to double click and again choose whatever color you want that is just i don't know i kind of like that color but no i'm not gonna do that okay and now it's time to edit all other things so i'm just going to click on this inside t-shirt design and if you uncheck this you can see that disappear so you can always double click and you can just bring in your image here. You can do whatever you want and then it'll get updated. Let's just do this with the folded t-shirt. And the craft tag isolated is again this one. So you can also add, for example, okay, let's just look at this. So double click. So you have a background here. So you can actually change this background and make it any color you want. But if you want to remove it, you can just undo this and command S to save. Let's go here and yeah. 
it doesn't look good because it needs a background here this has to be something like this okay let's go take a look there you go you have something which is really nice and black and dark and looks pretty awesome all right so there are some other things that i want to show you that uh, it's not that you can just edit these things you can also edit a lot of other things if you go ahead and uncheck this so background so you can change the background you can either uncheck it or you can actually change the color of the background as well and let's go ahead and take a look at this leaf right here so if you have any props so if you want to click and move this leaf, a lot of mocker files have separate uh, instances for these things where you can go ahead and move things around. Uh, let me just check if this one has that. I think it should be, this is a folded t-shirt, overlays, there's leaves, but the leaf has just an overlay. Okay, so this one does not have that option, but there'll be a lot of mockups out there where you can actually move these leaves around. But yeah, you just have to find them in here and you can actually move objects around. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video and share it with anyone who you think might be interested in it. And also don't forget to check the links which are in the description below for all the free websites to get your mockups from. I've also listed all the mockups that I've used. You can use them as well. And I hope you create beautiful mockups for your artwork. So I'll see you in the next video then. Bye.